Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay. We're going to continue our session in life issues talking about identity. And the second question of the three life questions is, where did I come from? So that's the issue for today. Where did I come from? We talked last time about who am I? Today is where did I come from? Well, the truth is, if I just came from the idea of a man or a woman, I just came into the world because of their choices or because of their lack of choices, then that kind of leaves me just living stuck in the here and now. I kind of don't really have direction. I'm just kind of no determined purpose and I'm just kind of here. That's not very hopeful to me. That's not very purposeful to me to live in a way where there's not really anything beyond it was just their idea and here I am and poop, I came into the world. But if I am the things that we talked about in our last session, if I really am called by God, really am the apple of his eye, really am determined to be here by his purpose, if all those things we talked about in the last session are true, then where I come from is from God. I am on this planet because it was God's desire for me to be on this planet. It was God's plan for you to be on this planet. Matter of fact, I want to quote just a couple of verses. Colossians 1.16 says this, In him all things were created, and by him they were created, in heaven and earth, the invisible as well as the visible. All authorities, all powers, all principalities, all things were created by him, that's me and you, and for him, I was created for God. Revelation 4.11 repeats that. It says, for his pleasure, we are created. God created Debbie, me, for his pleasure. He said, I want a Debbie in the world. I want to talk with her. I want to commune with her. I want to bless her. I want to see her grow. I want to use her. I want a Debbie. I want a fill in your name. He created you for his pleasure. Again, you're an on purpose by God's design. Psalm 139 is probably my favorite and a very loved verse. Psalm 139 verse 13 to 16. Talking about where did I come from? The psalmist, David, says, God, you knit me together in my mother's womb. Being a mom, you know what it's like to feel that baby growing inside you. And you look at this, the time when he's this big, and then the time he's this big, and then the time he's this big, and then the time he's this big. And you study those things, and you know he's growing, he's growing, she's growing, she's growing, the baby's growing. And you know they're growing from that tiny, tiny, tiny little seed into a, you know, a blastocyst and then into a f embryo and then into a fetus and then into a baby that's ready to come out after 40 weeks. And the Bible says that he, God, knit you together in your mother's womb. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, pieced together, put together. Psalm 139 says, Your frame was not hidden from him when you were in the dark secret place of your mother's womb. And all the days that you were to live, that you are to live, God wrote them in a book. He said, Debbie is going to live to be however many years. And he wrote them in a book. And he, before I was even born on August 27th, before I was even born... God wrote all of my days out. He knew my days. He knew your days. He wrote them all out before you were even born. Where did I come from? Where did you come from? God created you. He created you for a plan. He created you for his pleasure. He created you. He knows you. He wired you. And when that dawns on me, when I realize he created me, I, want, I go, oh, if he created me, then he can satisfy me. He knows what makes me tick. He knows what makes me wired. He knows what things I like. He knows what things I don't like. He knows what satisfies. He made me. He's the creator. 
And when that dawns on us, we go, if he's the creator, if he made me, he knows me, he knows everything about me, he can be trusted to fulfill me. He can be trusted to satisfy me. He can be trusted. And so I just, tr I just trust that that settles on your heart. And you do like the prophet Jeremiah and you say, Oh my goodness, before I was formed, God, you knew me. Before I was formed, you, you set out a plan for me. Because before you were formed, God knew you and God knew you were going to be born and he set out a plan for you from your mother's womb. He had a plan. Whether that mom had that plan, whether that dad had that plan, or didn't, he had a plan for you. That's where I come from. That's where you come from. And he can be trusted now to satisfy us because he created us with a plan in mind for his pleasure and when he looks down he says uh, that's my honey that's the apple of my eye there right there that's where you came from soak that in it'll change your life won't it have a great day go with god